This is a Steam Greenlight trailer for War Is Hell 2 Free, and yes, yes that is Cheech and Chong. Uh, d don't worry, uh, Cheech and Chong aren't actually involved with this game, this is just a random scene from a film. Let's speed that up. We're just speeding up the random scene from the film right now, because it goes on forever. Slow it down again, just to uh, show you this bit where it says please vote yes, trailer at end. Yes, they're telling us there will be a trailer for the game after this random Cheech and Chong scene. Yeah. Yeah, they include the whole thing. I've sped it up again, obviously. Just let you know I have edited this trailer a little for time. Otherwise, we would be here for a very, very, very long time. I honestly have no idea why the quote-unquote developer did this. I don't know why you'd hide your gameplay after a random scene that you've got no legal rights to use in the promotion of your game. You know, this serves no purpose. It's just here, just to be content. If you are looking for a great old school style multiplayer FPS, that was today, it, by the way. That's handy, then shoot attack that's it. Now, hell game has here we go. You need and more. Like you may have heard the lady, who's, who will just talk incessantly now, so I'm going to have to chat over her, um, the whatever text-to-speech program that is. You'll notice, she, you may have noticed that she said uh, shootertactics.com. Now, that may be familiar to some of you who have watched the Best of Sting Green Knight trailers for a while. Don't worry, we will get to it if you haven't. But as you can see, it just looks fairly standard. It, it's a standard asset flip first person shooter. Quite why this needed the long Cheech and Chong build up, I do not know. But there's a lot about this developer who we're actually quite familiar with. Yeah, there's quite a lot about this developer that I don't understand. And I've been following this developer's work for a very, very long time. So here's some music that I'm sure is fully licensed for use in the promotion of this game. I'm not going to make any money from this video because of content ID, I'm fairly sure. That might be why the developer did it, so that... Because there's no way that the creator of War is Hell 2 Free doesn't know who I am. And that's not an ego thing. I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect people with career prospects to know who I am, but this person definitely does. Ah, oh, this has gone on for quite some time. And, and, and it really is just this, over and over, just random footage of guns and character models and environments that the developer had very little actual personal input on in terms of design and coding and everything. It is uh, one of the flippier asset flips. I've actually played this game before. It had a different name back then. In fact, this game's had a lot of different names over the years. In its long and storied career of attempting to get some attention on Greenlight. It's a very sad, desperate little tale, this one. By the way, the way this video's edited makes the game look a lot more interesting than it actually is. If only for the fact that the trailer footage has more than one player playing at any given time. Uh, the actual... The actual game has no players at all. In fact, I'm fairly confident in saying right now, at the time of me recording this, literally no one is online playing War is Hell 2 Free. Or at least the whatever demo they'll be offering this time. <sighs> believe we're doing this again. By the way, this trailer ends with a random, silent bit of a clip, because the developer's really bad at editing. I'll just show you. That's that's the way the trailer ends. There's a lot of black, silent screen before that, but I'm cutting that out. Description. War is Hell 2 free multiplayer tactical FPS with player hosting on 26 maps, 5 game modes and AI bots that live players replace. Photon Network Cloud 7 countries worldwide, killstreak announcer 4 class and 10 weapons, communist versus democrats, WW3. That is an odd idea for a World War 3 game, but okay. 
ShooterTactics.com. War is hell. V2-1. Re- <laughs> ShooterTactics.com. Why, that sounds familiar. Right, yeah, it's it's the Shooter Tactics guy again. If you're unfamiliar with the Shooter Tactics guy, this this is basically a developer, and let's use that term very loosely, who has no idea what refusal is, and seems to disagree quite furiously with the general public when they say they don't want this game. This game has, at various points, been called Shooter Tactics, Uh, it's been called Tactical Anal Insertion once, when the developer really lost his temper. This developer loses his temper a lot. Uh, uh, Somewhat unhinged, I think, in, in, in some sort of way. Just a skew when it comes to real life especially when it comes to this particular game, that 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 the dev defends to the hilt and says there's nothing wrong with it, uh, there's nothing wrong with it, and anyone who disagrees uh, is usually some sort of uh, homophobic slur. Uh, that's something that this dev is particularly fond of doing. Although this time, this time anybody who doesn't like the game is a pathetic hater, spelt P-E-R-T-H-E-T-I-C, and also a junkie and a mental patient, So that's good. Let's actually have a look at the announcement for this game. Uh, There's the description, which I'm not going to bother reading now, because most of it's just fucking key commands and shit. Uh, Let's look at the recent announcement that's been made by Mikhail. Beat the pathetic haters. It is free. Please vote and comment against the haters, whom are mostly junkites and mental patty ants. Why stop a free game? Because scum want to continue making me and my games fail. The Shooter Tactics Brain Trust really believes there's some sort of conspiracy against him and his game, and believes that just because something's free, it's therefore justified no matter how shit or unwanted it is. There's nothing wrong with my maps, I just basically wanted those bought maps that I put on there as extras, as I uh, bought them because they got a lot of assets in there and it saved me a lot of time making more than 20 maps to add an extra map on that someone else has made. I've made about 10 different maps of my own and released about 4 or 5 of them. And I've got about another 4 to come that are half finished. And here's this idiot, this little scumbag bastard. Got his head in the clouds. Have a look at this. This is where he says Unity Pro, to get Unity is a a $200 fee. What a load of shit. It's... It's 75 US dollars per month on a 12 month subscription. Mate, no one wants this fucking game. No one wanted it when it was called Shooter Tactics. Nobody wanted it when you had your first meltdown. Nobody wanted it when you had your second meltdown. And sure as shit, nobody wants it now. You can change the name as many times as you want. You can get increasingly bizarre, bordering on abstract with your trailers, but you're not going to make a shitty, unplayed, multiplayer FPS asset flip desirable. It's not desirable. No. It's a simple two-letter word. No. I'm not a junkie. I'm not a mental patient. I'm just saying no. Stop trying to make shooter tactics happen. It's absolutely, positively not going to happen.